Frank said, I don't know what's wrong, but he said, I just, I went golfing yesterday and I can't hit the ball nearly as far as I have in the past. I don't know why, but I'm driving the ball about 30 yards shorter than I regularly do. He was trying to, uh, trying to run across the street. His legs wouldn't run. He was telling his legs to move and they wouldn't move. He was playing tennis one day and he couldn't move, the, move to the right or the left, I can't remember, but he wanted his body to move a certain direction and it just wouldn't work and it really scared him. So he went on the internet and, you know, it's, it's an amazing tool, but in a few minutes he realized these symptoms were leading to, and he phoned me and said, Dennis, I've got, I've got uh, multiple sclerosis, Parkinson's disease, a brain tumor, or ALS. But I hope it isn't ALS because there's, there's treatment for all the other ones. And what would you say, what made Frank Frank? In a nutshell. In a nutshell? If you could say How that. big a nut? <laughs> Frank was Frank in his. Um, very upbeat outlook on life, a very positive outlook on life. Frank, of course, was a founding member of USMA, and the USMA is one of the most unique organizations in our industry. The dependability is definitely uh, an excellent word to describe him. Had a lot of fight, he was a championship boxer, didn't back down from anything. The first thing I remembered about him after meeting him was his absolutely piercing, intense blue eyes. It looked like he was staring right through you. Playing golf with Frank was always a bit of an experience because he loved taking mulligans in it. And uh, he, would, he was a big hitter, so he would often hit way across on the other fairway. So you wouldn't, you wouldn't meet again until you were on the green. And then he used to say, put me down for a four, or I'll take a five. And you never knew how many mulligans were included or excluded in that score. And you never knew, knew maybe, maybe that was the number of golf balls you'd lost on the, on the way to the green. I had the opportunity to know Frank both, uh, both as a professional and as a friend. As a professional, he had the rare ability to be a straight talker. You didn't have to ask Frank twice for his opinion. He would give it to you the first time. He was a, a very interesting person to work with. Uh, loved to read, loved to uh, all of a sudden try something that was completely different than, uh, than the norm. Uh, loved to challenge uh, both upward and downward. Well, he empowered people at home. He empowered his um, people at work. Anyone that showed any potential, Frank was behind and he empowered them. I guess uh, one thing you could say about Frank is, is when you, if you met him, you would never forget uh, having met him and, and the impact that he made on you. We don't know who's going to catch this disease. It, it, it appears to be random, and it could be one of us, could be anybody in this room. They know what's happening to the body, but they do not know how to stop it or how to cure it. Therefore, you need a lot of research dollars. What's special about Frank particularly, because I haven't seen other people suffer the disease, is he met the challenge every day. And he carried his family the whole time. I would like to thank the people in the USMA for, for naming this tune after Frank and his memory, to preserve his memory and raising it, using it to raise funds to, to uh, research ELS, I think is an even greater tribute. So I would, I would like to thank him very much. The USMA to Frank was, it was very dear to him. He was part of the founding group of the USMA and I think he would be bursting his buttons knowing that the USMA has named the annual golf tournament the Frank Bennett Memorial Golf Tournament. Thank you for raising money for ALS.